Hello planner friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for you for the week of October 25th through the 31st of 2021. This was Halloween week and I pulled in a bunch of silver foil uh, with this Halloween themed kit. The kit is Boo from Scribble Prints Co. and yeah I think I pulled foil from a bunch of different shops looking at my planner. I think for the most part it was from Scribble Prints Co. I definitely pulled in some Wild Summer Designs spiderweb stickers, as well as I think those date dots are from Sadie's stickers. They're the little pumpkin date dots, and those were super cute. So first thing, as I'm going and putting down all of the date covers, date dots, headers, all of the base things, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for all of your comments on my previous three videos. I did record all of those voiceovers last weekend. It is Sunday night that I'm recording this voiceover, Sunday night, uh, December 11th. Yeah, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to you guys for all of your feedback. I really, really appreciate it. A couple things that I wanted to mention in response to that feedback, um, like as far as what I'm gonna be talking about in some of my Plan With Me videos, it's pretty much just gonna be very similar to what I have been doing and just adding in life stories whenever I happen to have them. Uh, so if that does mean that I end up missing some stickers here and there or something like that, as always, I will have everything listed and linked in the description box below if it's still available or if the shop is still open. And if not, then I'll let you know that too. The other thing that I wanted to mention is I will most likely be moving forward with the combined monthly spreads. I'm going to try it once. And so this will be, so like the next monthly highlights video that you guys see from me will be my August 2021 20, monthly highlights, I think. Yes. And then I'll start doing the combined monthly highlights videos for September, October of 2021. So it'll be like one single video. And then from then on, it'll be doubles. Unless, you know, I start doing those videos and for whatever reason, it just doesn't seem to work for either you guys or for me. So that's sort of the plan moving forward. So a couple things that blew past me as I was working on, or as I was talking about the, the feedback that I received, the washi that I pulled in at the bottom, the bow washi, the black with the orange foil that is from Simply Gilded, and then I also did pull in these super cute orange water trackers from Glam Planner just to track my water for the week. I feel so far removed from this week in real life. It's just, it's kind of funny. Looking back at it, I was like, wow, this was kind of, kind of a bit of a rough week for me. But, you know, I guess we have those. And my planner still looks cute, even if it was a not so great week. And, you know, we all have those and it's fine. And we move on, we move past it. And that's all there is to it. So yeah, I'm just going ahead and putting down the rest of the glitter headers, full boxes, I did use the full like underlay boxes from Scribble Prints Co. for this week. That was what came with the foil bundle. I think at this point where all of the foil sheets were like the same size, that's when Scribble Prints Co. started calling them foil bundles instead of wiggles, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I could be completely off, but that's, that's how it's feeling in my memory right now. Okay, yeah, then I just put down all of the bottom washi, and then I put in the Happy Halloween sticker. The script is from Rose Colored Days, I believe, and then the little, like, skull sticker is from, I think I just ended up with a random sheet of, like, skull and candy stickers from Scribble Prints Co. I think those probably came in, like, a misfit rack bag or something like that, but I had them, and I just figured I would pull them in for this week because they were perfect for it. And I don't always use silver foil for my Halloween spreads, so it worked. Then I went ahead and moved into the sidebar. I really wanted to use the tall box that came with the kit, so I pulled that in for, you know, the top box of the sidebar. Then I used the three habit trackers like I typically do. The black habit tracker, I'm pretty sure, is from Caress Press, and that was just, like, either that was from my leftover stash or it was from like a separate sheet of Caress Press stickers. I don't remember which off the top of my head, but it is from Caress Press, I'm pretty sure. 
I did also pull in three labels, or not labels, scripts from Kinsey's Creations for the three habit trackers. And then instead of doing the full like ombre weekly checklist, I really wanted to pull in this other full box. I wanted to use as many of the full boxes as I could this week. So instead of tracking my steps this week, I just put some to-dos in my sidebar with one of the three heart trackers and an extra glitter header. At the very top above the sidebar, I did pull in this cute candy sticker that again is from one of those random like little deco sheets that I had from Scribble Prints Co. And then the October script is from Letters to Apollo, I'm pretty sure. I feel like there's something else that I missed. Oh, I did use corners on both of the full boxes that are in the sidebar. Those corners, the little like spider web corners, those are from Wild Summer Designs. And then here I'm just going through and putting down all of the rest of the glitter header overlays and the full box overlays. I really loved these leaves. When I was first choosing the foil for this spread, I thought that maybe the leaves would not be festive enough and I was a little bit worried about that. But looking back at it, I think it's cute and I'm happy with it. So maybe not a bad choice. Is there a box that I forgot to put an overlay on? Oh no, I just put spider webs over the girl box on Friday. So yeah. And then I also pulled in the foiled weekend banner that came with the wiggle. And then in the sidebar, there are different headers than like the rest of the bulk headers. Like there are a couple extra, like, I don't know if this makes any sense. So there's like the bulk headers with all like the extra glitter sparkly bits. And then there are like just leaf header overlays in that foil bundle. And I pulled in one of the extra overlays for the sidebar glitter header because I didn't want to not, or I didn't want to use like one of the, I don't know. I used a different glitter header overlay for the sidebar. I'm not doing a very good job of explaining it. So I'm just going to leave it there. And then to finish off the base of the spread, I did pull in just the rest of those little foily bits that I had left over. Moving into the day by day, the first thing on Monday that I marked was that it was a rainy day. That munchkin is from Once More With Love. Looking at my spread, actually, I don't think I really even used any scripts for the rest of the week. It was pretty much just in the sidebar and just above the sidebar for the October script. So I hope that I didn't record myself writing down every single one of those items, but maybe I did. I guess we'll find out. Uh, the next thing that I marked was that I needed to take the trash out. The icon came with the kit. Then I marked working from home with one of the labels in the kit. And then I marked laundry. And that laundry icon is super, super old. That's from Planning World. And I don't even know if Planning World is even open anymore. But I had these in my stash and I wanted to use them up. So I pulled that in. For dinner that night, we got Ahi Poke. So Ahi is like a poke place close to us. And I just pulled in this chopstick sticker from Paper and Milk. Why did that sound funny? It's a chopstick sticker. I don't know. Something about that combination of words just sounds silly to me. I am so sorry if you can hear road noise in the background. I swear it's been super quiet here all day today. And the moment I sat down to start recording my voiceover, somebody's car alarm went off and it took them way too long to figure out that their car alarm was going off and, you know, actually go outside to resolve that issue. I, and now there are just a bunch of cars driving by, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, moving back to Monday, I was feeling a bit anxious, so I pulled in this anxious munchkin face from Once More With Love. And then I needed to do some emails. I don't remember for what, so I pulled in another sticker from Planning World, uh, one of the laptop stickers from Planning World for that. And then I had some hot cocoa that night, and I think that sticker is from planner Ask, if I'm not mistaken. On Tuesday, I just pulled in the extra bit of that full box that I had to cut off on the sidebar and then layered over it this headache sticker from Once More With Love because I did have a headache that morning. I went to Tim Hortons before work, so I pulled in a coffee sticker from Planning World for that. Then I marked working at the office with another label that came with the kit. I was feeling really, really tired that day, so I pulled in a flag from the kit and one of the super tired munchkins from Once More With Love to mark that I'm 108% tired. And then I marked something in my planner with another laptop sticker. I have no idea what it was because I, I didn't write anything down. 
I was doing some sort of computer work for something. <laughs> anyway, the laptop sticker is from Planning World, if I didn't already mention that. On Wednesday, I pulled in this wine glass sticker. Yeah, it was my parents' anniversary, so I just pulled in a wine glass sticker for that. Then I marked working from home the same way that I did on Monday. I did treat myself to some kabuki sushi for lunch, and that sushi girl sticker is super old from Scribble Prince Co. After that, uh, probably after work, I snuggled my pups, and I pulled in this paw print sticker from Planning World, and then I did some YouTube work. I worked on my thumbnail and my description for a video, I guess, at that point. That laptop sticker, again, is from Planning World. Then I talked to my parents and my uncle on the phone all separately that day, so I pulled in a Munchkin sticker from Once More With Love to mark that. And then I needed to print some inserts, and I pulled in this super old planner sticker from Scribble Prints Co. to mark that. Moving on to Thursday, the first thing that I marked was that my plan with me went live, and I pulled in this film clapper sticker from Mandy Dreams, who is unfortunately no longer open. Then I marked that I was feeling exhausted. I pulled in this very sleepy Maru the Marshmallow to mark that. And for some reason, I'm putting down all of the labels first. Or I'm gonna... I'm kind of doing things a bit out of order here. But it's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. Next, I marked working at the office. Again, the work label came with the kit. And then Thursday was a very frustrating day, it looks like. Especially frustrating. So I needed to message my doctor. I don't remember why at that point, but it is what it is. I pulled in this stethoscope sticker from Scribble Prints Co. to mark that, and then I was really frustrated with people wasting my time, apparently. I don't remember what for, but I pulled in this not uh munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that. For the second box of Thursday, the first thing that I marked was a Target run. The Target bag sticker is from Scribble Prints Co., Apparently we had Panera for dinner that night and I just pulled in a fork and spoon sticker from one or from wow fork and spoon sticker from Scribble Prints Co to mark the Panera. Then I was really really struggling that evening so I just pulled in this wasn't planning on crying today sticker from Once More With Love for that and then I just did some video notes and the pencil sticker is from Paper and Milk. On Friday the first thing that I marked was working from the office. I pulled in the work label that came with the kit for that. Wow, I had a lot of poke bowls for, for lunch or dinner this week. Anyway, I had ahi poke for lunch, apparently. How was I at the office and had ahi for lunch? I probably came home at lunchtime and then just had poke bowls delivered for lunch. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Uh, anyway, the chopstick sticker is from Paper and Milk, and then I needed to do a Michael's run, so I pulled in a cart sticker from Planning World's Mark That. That night, we had kind of a date night. We went to see the new My Hero Academia movie in theaters, so I just pulled in the movie marquee that came with the kit for that. But before that, we also went to Olive Garden, and the fork and spoon sticker is from Scribble Prince Co. On Saturday, I slept in, so I pulled in this sleepy Maru the Marshmallow from Paper and Milk to mark sleeping in. Then I snuggled my Maisie girl. It looks like Saturday was kind of a relaxed morning, which was probably much needed at the time. Uh, but anyway, the paw print icon that I pulled in was from Sadie Stickers, I believe. Then I marked editing a video and pulled in a laptop sticker from Planning World. And then I snuggled my kitty. <laughs> Lots of snuggles were happening on Saturday, apparently. The heart sticker is also from Planning World. Later that day, I was watching the U of M at MSU game and just pulled in this football sticker from Harriet Wright Designs. And then we celebrated my parents' anniversary later that evening, and I just pulled in one of the wine glass icons from Scribble Prince Co. Sunday was Halloween, and I already marked that in like the base part of the spread. And then I needed to pick up a prescription, so I pulled in a pill bottle sticker from Planner Kate. We also needed to drop some stuff off at Goodwill. I think we were donating bookshelves? I think bookshelves were what we were donating at this point last year. So I just pulled in a box sticker from Scribble Prince Co because that was like 
the best icon that I had for that purpose. But yeah, anyway. Uh, then we needed to do some grocery shopping, so I pulled in another cart icon from Planning World. And then we also had to do a Petco run, and I pulled in the paw print sticker that came with the kit. I'm just now realizing how errand heavy uh, Sunday was. But yeah, anyway, then we had to drop off our rent. I pulled in a house icon that came from Scribble Prints Co. And then I also needed to get some laundry started. Usually I do my laundry on Sundays just to sort of get prepared for the week. So yeah, just pulled in another laundry icon from Scribble Prints Co. to mark that. Then we set out candy. Last year we didn't pass out candy. We just had like a big bowl and we left it outside and just said, please take what you want. So yeah, just pulled in one of the little like candy deco pieces from Scribble Prints Co. Then we were watching Squid Game, which I did really enjoy, but that's who that's a show it was very good and then i just marked chilling with my husband with a munchkin couple watching tv from once more with love for some reason i did my viv wiggle without putting my page back in my planner and i don't know why i did that but that's what i did uh, and that was everything that I had left in the kit. I hope you enjoyed this spread and I hope you are all doing well and had a great weekend and I will see you in my next one. Take care, everyone.